Good morning, I'm Marjorie Donahue. And I'm Karen McKilligan. What if I told you you could heat your home, keep more money in your pocket, and be eco-friendly about it? Now you can with EquiHeat. EquiHeat is made from forced waste bedding, which is usually shed or shavings or uh, uh, powder, like the powder dust. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's also made from old recycled wood. Uh, we also intend on donating nine donating 9% of our profits to either <coughs> homes that need a gasifier or horses in need. To make our pellets, first we have to dry them to a moisture content of 8 to 12%. We then mill them to reduce the pellet size so that all the particles are equal. Then we turn, <coughs> then we condition them by adding steam to improve the adhesion and then we cut them into pellets and cool them. Our pellets are made at the Mesa Reduction Engineering Facility in uh, Old Food. Uh, our pellets, uh, they're put into the gas fires, and like this is a small model, they're put into the gas fire. It's then heated, which makes a uh, type of gas, which is a gas combustion, which is then <coughs> used to heat your home. And after the pellets are heated, they then, they then turn to ash, and they could most likely be used for fertilizer because it's made from uh, forced waste. We asked our customers how old they were, and we <coughs> found that the large majority of people were 26 to 60 year olds, which is actually 60.7% of those we surveyed. We asked our customers um, if they would use this as a primary or secondary heating source, and the majority of them said they would use it as a primary or as a prime or secondary heating source, and then a quarter said they would use it as a primary heating source. We asked what our customers currently heat with, and the large majority use traditional sources of energy such as like propane, electricity, and natural gas. Our customer profile is 26 through 61 year olds who would like to use their product as a secondary or primary heating source that used to heat with any of our competitors, mostly natural gas and coal. Our pellets cost $170 per ton, like the sales, and an average house would use six tons of pellets per year. We also asked our surveyors if they would like to use a biodegradable and reusable packaging which we would like to design and create down the road to be more eco-friendly. Our business type is a partnership. Some advantages of this is that we have multiple people who can collaborate and come up with different ideas. But some disadvantages is that we could disagree on things and not be able to cooperate. <laughs> Um, the jobs that we'd like to conclude include our technician, a warehouse worker, and an accountant. Later on, we'd like to have an overseas accountant and an electrician. And our jobs depend on the job description. For office employees, they can work between the hours of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And outside office employees can work between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. No, no employee will have to work more than eight hours Monday through Friday. And also, um, They'll be paid depending on their job description, and our range per hour will be between $10 to $15, and yearly salary will range between $20 and $30,000 a year. And note, this is just for starting our business. Everything will increase as well our product and business. Some of our business goals include um, having 500 customers within the first year, <coughs> donating gasifiers to those who need them, and donating 9% of our profits to charity. Um, some of our future goals include expanding overseas and creating a biodegradable and reusable packaging and then hiring more employees. Our location is in Broadway Street, Alden, New York, and it's 9,001 square foot building with 2.11 acres and also has a 200 by 450 uh, parking lot. The annual tax is $7,000 and the minimum wage in this state is $9 an hour. And we're going to, it's going to cost $395,000 to pay off. It will take about 15 years to pay off throughout bank loans, money from friends and family, and donations from our Kickstarter campaign. This is our location. We chose this location because it's close to um, our production facility, Mesa Production Engineering. On the top, you can see it from the outside. The bottom is the warehouse, and here is the office space. First, move our, our spot, our strengths are we're eco-friendly, it reduces the amount of animal waste in the environment, and you can produce heat and electricity with certain gasifiers, and it's the third lowest um, source on the market. And 
our weaknesses, some people might be unsure about our product, which is why we've created a website so people can get to know us and what we're here for. And also, Morrisville State College is using us to heat two of their dorms currently, and it's very efficient. And if we cannot get enough manure, we'll have to wait for some, but it's not the end of the world because horses go every day. And uh, storage will require ventilation because there's a methane gas buildup, but every other heating source does require ventilation. All of our customers will be required, which is part of our technician's job. And it requires an additional investment in gas fire, boiler, or pellet stove. We highly recommend gas fires because you can produce electricity and heat. And pellet stoves have high ash content, which they're being currently tested as we speak. And some of our opportunities are we can spread out of New York and create our own mill. We can create and or we can design our reusable and biodegradable packaging to put our pellets in. And we can donate gas suppliers to homes in needs of heat. And some of our threats are traditional heat sources such as oil, propane, natural gas. Uh, we're less expensive than most, and it does not require you to drilling into the earth or fracking, which is very harmful to our environment because it drills side or like at an angle into the crust, which can cause like earthquakes and everything. And all they put in there is sand after they take all that pressure out, so it's very harmful. And other eco-friendly sources such as wind power and uh, solar power. The sun doesn't shine every day, the wind doesn't blow every day, but a horse sure does go every day. So you can rely on the horse, not weather. And another business stealing our product, we're looking into getting a patent in for that. Because uh, we're so new and everything. Um, our competitive analysis, one of our competitors is wood, <coughs> but unlike wood, we burn um, a waste product instead of trees which are living, and we're also significantly lower in cost. Another um, competitor is like traditional sources of heat, such as like, coal, oil, natural gas, but we're approximately the same cost, cost or less, and we don't emit the same pollutants as traditional heat sources, and our final competitor is um, other eco-friendly sources of heat, such as like solar power and wind power, but we have a significantly lower in initial investment cost, and um, we have no dependence on weather. Here is a chart comparing us to all of our top competitors. We put it in a British thermal unit because you can't measure everything at a time, and also a British thermal unit is a unit of energy for measurement. And as you can see in bold, we're um, the third least expensive on the market, with coal being number two and natural gas being number one. Natural gas, you do have to frack to obtain the material, and coal, you have to mine for it, so you're both of them, you're basically going into the earth to attain it. Some competitive, competitive advantages is that we're reusing a waste product. We're also the third least expensive on the market, and we're a renewable source of energy, which means that it doesn't require a long period of time to obtain the material, again, like coal, which takes many, many years to create. Um, we'll also donate 9% of our profits to charities, and we <coughs> would like to create a reusable and biodegradable packaging in the future. And we <coughs> also have a significantly lower initial investment cost than other eco-friendly sources of heat. For our startup cost for the first month was about $42,000, and the first year we were about $510,000, but we'll be making a profit our very first month. And some business liabilities are the pellet production speed of the Mesa Reduction Engineering Facility, uh, also the um, production speed of getting the waste product from our local farmers, and also ash content in pellet stoves, which we're recommending our customers get a gasifier and methane gas buildup in non-ventilated areas, but we were requiring all our customers to have a ventilated area or store their pellets outside. And work for injury from machinery when we expand. Um, these are our finances. We anticipate to have 42 customers in our first month. Our costs include labor, production, operation, and health insurance. Um, our costs in the first month are approximately $42,500 but we intend to make a profit of about $44,000. So our profit will end up being $1,200, and we'll be able to donate about $100 to charity. In our third month, we anticipate 125 clients, and then we'll have, the cost will be $127,000, and our profit will end up being about $3,000, and we'll be donating about $260. Here's a more in-depth of our financials. financials. Um, 
operations for the first month we about seventeen thousand dollars in the first year we about two hundred and four thousand dollars and then for labor costs for the first month we about uh, twelve thousand dollars first year one hundred and forty eight thousand and then for insurance it'll be a thousand eight hundred dollars for the first month and twenty two thousand five hundred for the first year oh I'd like to get a huge recognition out to um, Morrisville State College system professor of uh, Renewable Energy Director of the Renewable Energy Training Facility, Dr. Benjamin Ballard, for helping us uh, take some of this information that we needed help with. He helped us out a lot and gave us the sample that we have today. And these are some examples of our advertisement. Advertisements over there, we have our Twitter, and then we have our website link, our email, our Twitter, and our Facebook. And then this is a screenshot of our website. So this is our website, this is the home page, and we have about services, purchase, and contact. So on purchase, you can put in the type of pellets that you want, which include powdered or pelletized, and then it'll give you the cost, and then you can your email, your address, and your name, and we'll ship it to you. So. Thank you. So.